Hello, one and all, and welcome to the Math Magic Show. In this one, we're going to find a limit. So I have here a piecewise defined function that says f of x equals 6 minus x minus x squared. Now, this piece applies, as you can see, when x is less than or equal to 4. So, for example, in the cases when x is like 3.99, you would use that one, or like when it's, for example, 2 or negative 10 and so on. So any number less than or equal to 4, including the 4 itself. And then on the bottom, I have 2x minus 5, and that applies when x is greater than 4. So, for example, when x is like, say, 4.000001, that is greater than 4. So then you, to find the value of the function, you would plug that into 2x minus 5. Let's find a limit using this. So imagine what I want to do is find the limit when x approaches 4. Because we have a piecewise defined function, we have to find two separate limits and see whether they're the same or not. Let's take a look at the first stage. What I'm going to calculate first is the upper limit. This says here the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the left. So this is the limit from the left. And in this particular case, as you can see, I can just plug it into the expression and calculate the value of the function, and that's it. So I'm going to have the following 6 minus 4 minus 4 squared. Wherever I see x, I replace it with the 4. So that's going to give me 6 minus 4, which is 2. 4 squared is 16, so it's 2 minus 16, which is negative 14. So the limit as x approaches 4 from the left is negative 14. Now, let's see what happens to the limit when x approaches x from the right. You have to be very careful because here, when you say right, what you really mean are values of x that are bigger than 4. So, for example, since this is the piece that applies 2x minus 5, when x is greater than 4, you would use 2x minus 5. Use that piece. Okay, so let's take a look at that. So it's going to look like this. So the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right, in other words, from values of x greater than 4, what we have essentially then is just replace x and evaluate. So it's 2 times 4 minus 5, which is 8 minus 5, which is lastly 3. Even if you're a little bit loose here, you realize pretty quickly that clearly negative 14 and 3 are two very different values. So what is that telling you about the limit of f of x as x approaches 4? What it's telling you is the following, that basically this limit does not exist. In other words, you would say it by saying something like, the limit of f of x as x approaches 4, and now when you write this 4, it doesn't have a plus or minus anymore. D and E, that's the value of the limit, does not exist since the limits are different. Limit from the right and the left are have different values, so the limit overall does not exist. Okay, and that is it for this one. Please leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you in another video.